So patients always ask, how do you do a quick stir fry? So I'm going to do one almost from scratch. Um, when you come home, it's something you can quickly whip up. Uh, all you need is some ingredients. You don't need a whole lot. Um, when I'm searching for ingredients, I just pull out whatever's in my fridge. So I'm not looking for anything in particular. I just take certain things I want, and I just lay it all out. We also have some chicken cooked from the night before, so it's all sitting there. And I'll show you how to do a quick stir fry right from scratch all the way to being plated. So what I do is I just grab a bowl, and um, as I'm chopping, I just throw everything in one bowl. I'm all about keeping it simple. So I'll just start by cutting this, and I'll do it really fine. So I just take all the vegetables, and I basically lay them out, the ones I want, and I just start chopping and I throw them in the bowl every time I chop something. So I'll take beans, I got a few extra beans. And again, the beautiful thing about stir fries is you can basically put in whatever the heck you want um, and it tastes quite fantastic. So, um, cause you allow the flavor of that food to come out. So just throw that in there, take a mushroom. Taki mushroom. Throw that in as well. Spring onion. This one here will just score it on the middle. And I'm going to do a very rough cut. Zucchini. As you see, I'm just throwing it all into the same bowl. Jalapeno for just a bit of taste. And then a shallot. Let's do half of one, it's totally fine. Okay, so that took about two minutes and we're pretty much chopped. All the ingredients are ready and we're ready to cook. Okay, so now we have our pan, it's hot. We're gonna grab some coconut oil again. I'm gonna just grab it, throw it in. I don't really measure it out too much, I just kind of throw it in. You just let it coat a little bit. Even if it doesn't fully melt, it's, it's fine. You see, wait till the oil gets a little bit hot. I mean, there's no real way you can test it if you want, but I just, I just kind of let it sit for about a minute or so. And then when you're done, I basically take the vegetables that we've chopped up and I just throw them right in. So now the vegetables are in, what a lot of people want to do is they want to start stir frying right away. They want to start mixing it around. Honestly, the key is you just let it sit. Let it sit, don't touch it. You hear that sound, you hear it cooking. So now as it's cooking and just browning on one side, we're gonna go over and just cut the meat up and then come back and finish our stir fry. So you just wanna follow me. So we have the meat from the night before. You literally just take the piece of chicken, doesn't matter what kind. And for me, it's just real simple. I just start cutting the meat off of it. So you don't wanna, you just wanna cut whatever you want, so I mean, you don't have to cut too fancy. It doesn't have to be rocket science. <laughs> Just any amount of meat is totally fine. So again, whatever amount of meat you want, you just cut that out. So when you have it, again, you just kind of cube the meat up. You can hear a stir fry over there cooking quite well. So you just literally take the meat, chop it up, and that's ready to go. So just take that, and have that, and what we'll do is actually we have some cilantro as well, so we'll take that over. Two. So bring them that over. So now that it's been cooking a little bit, now you can start to stir fry it a little bit. And that's when you get that sound, that wonderful sound, but if you notice, it's cooked quite well on one side, so you get that nice browning to it. And again, 
when you put it down, you don't want to keep stir frying. Again, you let it sit on another side and just let it sit there. This is how you cook nice and even. You can see the browning of the onion, the slight browning of the mushrooms, uh, even the browning of the pepper. Um, so you don't want to stir it. You don't want to keep stirring it. That's the big mistake people make all the time. They want to keep flipping it and stirring it and stirring it. You let it sit. Very, very simple. You can hear that sizzle. Maybe wait another minute. So now I've been stir frying for literally about two minutes. And I'm going to stir fry it one more time. Just stir it around a bit. I'm going to push everything to the side because we're going to throw our meat in. Remember, the meat is already cooked from the night before, so we don't have to really do a whole lot. So we literally just throw it down there and let that lightly stir fry. Now here is where you can add spices. If you want to throw in, again, if you want to make it curry style, you can throw in some turmeric. You can throw in some cilantro. You can throw in some um, uh, coriander powder, uh, cumin. All these things you can throw in. You can just stir fry it all together. I'll probably do that in another vlog, but right now we're just keeping it very, very simple. So the meat was whatever was seasoned with the night before. So you just literally stir fry that. And then once it's slightly heated, then you just mix everything together. And then you let it sit literally for another minute. So this is not too long. Again, two minutes to prep three minutes, maybe four minutes to cook. It's not too bad. And then right at the very end, that's when you take your cilantro, if you like cilantro that is, and you just throw it at the very end. And again, cilantro cooks extremely fast. Okay, so now we're finished. The uh, stir fry is done, so we're going to plate it. Just give it one quick stir, and then we take it over to the plate, and voila. Six, seven minute stir fry right from scratch. It smells fantastic.